it's Katerina. We're going to chat about the Women's Rugby League in the Canberra region, thanks to the Mawson Club. Let's hear from Alana Franks about what's going on. A couple of weeks in the Ladies League Tag competition. Uh, first off, um, Belcon and Sharks have been really impressive after you broke them off a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did say at the beginning that I thought they'd make top four, but two very consistent weeks. So they had the upset in round nine against the Rams. Um, and they played very strong against Goulburn, so very impressed by how Sharks have played. They seem to change their game plan up a bit, um, hitting behind the ruck and nice, hard, straight running and good supportive play. So really good to see Sharks with that game strategy. Uh, quite a quick tempo as well. Very quick, very quick. So I think that they really deserved that win against the Rams. Um, I think we've just been waiting for them, and, you know, they hit their straps at the right time. Yeah, and then we also... It was a really in interesting game, Yaks and Goulburn, like the, the attack of Yaks against the defence of Goulburn. And defence won the day, but it was um, Yaks that still managed to Get the win. Yeah, 4-0, so we knew it would be a grind. Um, I thought Yas would come out on top. Um, there was a lot of breakaway plays, um, but Goldman's defence stuck it to them. Yas have a fantastic four and against, so to, for Goldman to keep them to four, um, fantastic game. And then um, in, the, in the last round, so uh, Wine bounced back from their loss to the Sharks. They had a 32-10 without a total. They're back in the, the top four, and then also uh, Yas got a 50 tries like up the week before, then 44-0 over the Blues, which is quite a statement because the Blues have been going right. Yeah, but I think Yas tend to do that. They're never a team to take their foot off the pedal. So they showed that last year, consistent again this year with that. So um, I think that's a credit to them. They they don't take their foot off the pedal and they stick to their game plan and they can put that in the, into the second half and that would explain the 44 points and to hold them to zero. Um, good on them. Yeah, and speaking of I think all those tries as well, they got three players in the top five try scores and the as well. It's, it's pretty tight. There's a, it's about five players, only one try to separate the top five. So there's a lot of um, point scorers in, in that. Yeah, side. and for a team that plays very much as a team, they're not a group of individuals. Um, and then to have you know the top try scorers to have three of them up there, I think it says a lot about Yas. Yeah, so they're they're very much an attacking and a defensive side. But if you have a look at their for and against, um, I think they're coming first for um, their goal difference. Now a bit of an interesting week this week. We've got um. Gungarland and yourselves both coming off two weeks off. How do you find preparing for a game after having two weeks off? Um, I think we really enjoyed the two weeks off. I think we, that it worked out well with the long weekend for us and the horrible weather in round 10. So we're really looking forward to getting back out there. So I don't think it hindered us at all. We had some really fun training sessions. We hung out as a team. So no, we're really looking forward to it and we don't think that it will affect our, our game strategy and plan for this weekend. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a blue zone the last time we chatted after. No. Yeah, we're really not looking at who we're versing um, as such, but more just sticking to our own game plan of being consistent. And that's what I think we lack sometimes is that consistency, um, whether it's throughout the game or different games. Uh, we just want to keep that, keep it together for the whole duration, that whole 80 minutes. The other games, Bill Connor take on Yas, but the really interesting one is um, Gungarland against uh, Goldman. Uh, Gungarland started a little bit slowly, but they really uh, ramped it up before they had their two weeks off. It'll be interesting to see how they go up against a side like Goldman, who are always up there. Yeah, you know, like Goldman have that experience, um, they're a tremendous team, but. The Bulls, they were really coming together at round six and seven. You know, they did have the two weeks off, but let's hope, you know, it really worked well for them. But I think the Bulls could cause an upset, but we'll just wait and see. So then also in the Katrina Fanning Shield, we had um, Yas beat the Blues. So that's the Blues' first ever loss in the Katrina Fanning Shield. While um, uh, Tuggeron, they're closing on that top four spot, but they've got the roofs not too far behind. They had by last week, but the week before that,